Okay, now let's try this. x squared plus 3 sevenths x minus 14 equals 0. I have no idea what that answer is going to be. I might have just created the very worst math problem in the world, but let's see. I'm going to add 14 to both sides. So I'll have x squared minus 3 sevenths x equals 14. Now I complete the square plus parentheses negative 37, uh, 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 negative 3 sevenths times 1 half, parentheses close squared, plus parentheses, now I'm on the right hand side of the equation, negative 3 sevenths times 1 half, parentheses closed, squared. Right, because that's the method. Now, x squared minus 3 sevenths x plus negative 3 fourteenths squared equals 14 plus parentheses negative 3 fourteenths squared. Okay. On the left hand side, all I have to do is x minus 3 fourteenths parentheses around that squared. Over here, I'm really going to have to work. And so, I am going to use my friend, the calculator. So let me bring it up. This is the Wabbit Emu. Okay. Now let's move it down here. And I am going to add 14 plus parentheses negative 3 divided by 7 parentheses closed squared. Oh, I have to turn it on. I hate it when I do that. Again, 14 plus parentheses negative 3 divided by divided by 14 parentheses closed squared and now I'm pretty sure that's going to be a fraction so I'm going to say math frac enter oh my gosh okay we can handle it we're very very tough so that's going to be what I write on the right hand side of the paper. 2753, what have I done? 2753 over 196. Okay, but we are going to keep on keeping on. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides of the equation, so I'm going to move the calculator over for a while. Okay. So I'll take the square root of parentheses x minus 3 fourteenths parentheses close squared equals plus or minus the square root of 2 seven five three two thousand seven hundred fifty three over one ninety six now I doubt seriously that twenty seven fifty three is a perfect square I really really doubt it but let's try it second x square two seven five three enter
Yep, no it's not. Okay. Move it over. For now, I'm going to move it over. Then I'm going to try breaking it down more. I do, however, know that 196 is a perfect square. Let's bring the calculator back in. We're going to go second x squared 196. Fourteen. All right, so the right hand of the equation is going to be plus minus the square root of 27, 53 over 14. So now I will have x minus 3 fourths equals plus or minus the square root of 2753 over 14. I will add 3 fourths to both sides of the equation, so I'll have x equals 3 fourths plus, uh uh, that's 14 ths. I left that out. There we go. Plus or minus the square root of 2753 over 14. So that will be 3 plus or minus the square root of 2753 over 14. Now, we're going to have to check and see if 2753 will simplify. All right, so let's get to it and let's not whine. I am going to move the calculator over and I'm going to look at 2753 and begin exploring numbers that might go evenly into 2753. Okay, so 2753, I'm going to try 3, divided by 3. Nope, doesn't work. All right, how about 2753? I know 2 won't go into it. I know 5 won't go into it because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. Let's try 7. 2753, no, 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 no. Right arrow, delete, OK. Now divide 2753 by 7. Nope, that doesn't work. All right, let's try 2753 divided by, well, 9 won't work if 3 won't work. Um, 8 won't work because it's an even number. I tried 7. Let's try 11 divided by 11. One more, I'm going to try 27, 53, divided by 13. That doesn't work. One more, got to try one more. Going to try 17 and that's it. So 27, 53, divided by 17. Nope, okay. I am declaring this prime. So I'm declaring that the answer. How about that? Okay. I'm happy this is over. Bye-bye.